What's up, YouTube? This is Ryan from Team Board Wipe, and who do we have here? We've got Joey Misquick. And what did you do last weekend? I got third place at the Iowa Regional with Dragon Link. D Link, oh sick. Do you have anything you want to say before we start the profile? Um, I think the deck is extremely underrated. Um, it's got a good tier matchup, and then against everything else, it's like, you know, decent. So sick, we just get man. into it. Let's get into the profile. So, me the deck, uh, double tracer, recharging yeah. caliber. <laughs> An Apps Router, so this is just obviously the rocket package. Um, you just need like the one extra target to send off Tracer to pop your own Druid Swarm during your opponent's turn for an extra interruption. Um, the Chaos part of the package is three safer. It's obviously it's a one card starter with itself, with White Dragon, Black Dragon, and Lev. Um, safer grabs back to Lev, these cards are all good, you know why they're in here. Three Black Metal and the Red eyes. Uh, these are insane. Also, it's just like the most optimal starting. Um, obviously, going second too, you can do a lot of SP shenanigans too. So, good cards are good cards for my bestial lineup. I ended up playing one Magamut, three Druus Worm, three Sarnir, and obviously the three Luvelli to search it out. Okay, we're pulling raffle prizes while Joe looks through all of our stocks. We're back. This is Joey. What up? Uh, so where we left off. Um, so this is my bestial lineup. Um, most people are like playing like one or two of Druus Worm, maybe playing Baldrake. I just felt like Baldrake was underwhelming. And like Druus Worm is just always insane going second. And this is just like the best extender over any other dragon extenders. Because you just simply have to have a lighter dark engrave. So even going first, you just drop a Druus Worm and keep extending. Uh, Non-engine. Played three Ash Blossom, three Nibiru, and then I guess I'll kind of go out of order and just put the traps here too, three Imperm. I just felt like these were just like super consistent with like what people were playing, especially with like an Iowa Regional. These were performed very well. Like the biggest thing for Nib is I didn't want to get Dwellered just for the random people that are like Dwellering. So worked out for me there. Um, as far as spells, uh, a bunch of one ofs, one Chaos Space, the one pseudo Chaos Space, uh, the one Regain to search off the uh, Lubellion, Boot, and Ravine because the combo. Um, these are perfect. I love the one for one because obviously it just gives you like a second chaos space. And obviously the three quick launch. So super standard. 42 card main deck. I wanted to keep it more consistent and less deck count just so I can see my actual cards. Um, as far as the extra deck goes, I played the one striker dragon. Um, every game you should be shuffling this back and then having this turn three and just winning the duel. Pisty for the combo, obviously. Different link ones. I uh, played one seal, this card's insane, one Ramus for the combo, one dark to uh, do like combo with just like one dragon plus dark, um, IP and SP. These cards were an insane addition to the deck. Most of the time I'm just ending on these two cards here with like a regain activated and this is just insane. And then triple burst, you need for the combo, which is a good link three. Access code, most of the time I'm just banishing like a triple burst and bringing it back off of uh, of a disc batter and then just making monster and then just having access code OTK. Borland Dragon, this is a creative card, why they make this card. Uh, Borland Savage Dragon, part of the combo. Baron didn't really make this much, but it's in there just to, for like niche applications. Disc batter, I was trying to make it turn one so I could bring it back off the regain. Um, Xyz, actually I have to play the Atum. So all my combos are always doing seal with regain. And if that gets Nibiru, it always ends you with two bestials and then you can just extend through this. My last round opponent did that to me and then I was under droll and it ended up just making me just like win the match. And then last card's Typhon. Um, I always forget this card's in my extra deck, but it's there just for applications, so. And then that's it for the extra deck, side deck. Um, three droll and lockbirds for the shitter decks, like Dark World and just like the combo decks. Um, Three effect Veiler for the fire rescue deck. Uh, hit Turbulence so they don't set four. Um, the rest of it's just kind of to hit Pearly. Um, Book of Moon was really only to hit Pearly. And I guess I decided against Unchained to hit the rank six. Um, Spellbound, this card was insane. Sometimes I decided going first, but obviously you're going second against Bird, you're going against Chimera, and you're going against Pearly. Works against them. And then lastly, the MVP was Twin Twister. This card was so insane. Hey, yo. Um, I would always hit Tisabu's. I would hit like the bird trap in the standby phase or like the Chimera spell in the standby phase. So that is it for the profile. Do you have any uh, shout outs or anything else you want to say? Um, first off, shout out to Spencer Wollins, my cousin, for lending me the spell bounds. Shout out Kyle Satter for lending me some of the dragon stuff. And then shout out my girlfriend, Nora, for letting me play Yu-Gi-Oh. So. <laughs> She's nowhere. Okay. She's nowhere. <laughs> All right, but thanks, Joey. Yep, of course.